Hiya guys, so today I am making some vines. They look pretty cool when they're done um, and they're super cheap and easy. Um, all you need is a roll of burlap like this. It's pretty cheap. You can get it from like a um, factory shop or um, a garden shop, anything like that. It's pretty cheap. Um, I think that was £4 for that. So. Um, this is cocoa bark in here, um, you know, you get it as a brick, just soak it down, leave it out to dry, so it's nice and dry, doesn't stick to you, you know. Um, pair of scissors to cut your vines into ribbons and shapes, and some silicon. Um, make sure you get, you know, 100% silicon, you know, reptile safe silicon, aquarium silicon, anything like that. Um, just make sure it's it's safe for your reptiles. Um, and most uh, most importantly, gloves. This is a little pack I got free with um, some expanding foam, so they're going to come in really handy. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, we're back. Um, sorry about the camera angle. I'm pretty rubbish. Um, so yeah, I got my bark. I'll go for a, a shorter one that I cut. You know, it's about half a meter. I'll get my gloves on wherever I put them. You've got to wear your gloves, it's messy. So, so you get your glove and your other one. I like to use these because they're free and I can just reuse them over and over again. So then you get your, uh, your silicon. And your ribbon, get your ribbon ready. All you're going to do is put some of this silicon into your hands, like so. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Oh, the sun's crap. Anyway, yeah, so as you can see there, you put your silicon into your hands, like this. Plenty of it. Plenty of silicon. You get your ribbon, and you rub your hands together so the silicon's nice and there. Uh, Spread in your gloves. Oh, I do love, I love the smell of silicon. I don't know why, it reminds me of fish and chips. So, and then you get your, your ribbon and all you do is you spread the silicon all over it. Like so, get it nice and covered in the silicon. Nice and covered. I'm going to put a little bit more on that, I think. Squirt the silicon. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Rub it together. And spread it. And then rinse and repeat. There we go. It's proper messy. But as long as you're wearing gloves, you cannot go wrong. I'm making a bit of a mess. I mean, I, I know this. This is just the way I do it. There's probably other ways of doing it, but this is the way I do it. So that now is covered in silicon, really sticky. And then all you do is you get your substrate and you just put it in there and you make sure it covers it really nice. Gonna make sure it's properly covered. My uh, puppy's just bought me a stick. Go away. So cocoa bark's really good because it's got all the little I don't know what they are, they're like hairs, you know they look like hairs and they hang off the um, they hang off the the fake vine will make it look proper good and there you go someone's calling me so there you go there's your vine and all you do is leave that to dry and just rinse and repeat and you got yourself some vines happy days I like it I love it yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm actually doing something yeah.
my wife being annoying. She wants help with the shopping, but I've got my hands covered in silicon. So she's on her own. So yeah, there you go, there's one line. I'll get another one, a longer one. I mean you could if you wanted, you could get some um some nice green moss. I know the um I don't know if it's Komodo or whichever one they make it, they do like that a uh, mat, a stick on moss mat. Um you can pick the moss off of that and make it look you know, put that in there so it gives a bit of green on the vine or something like that, you know. Um I think it would be pretty cool. Um, I have actually got some. I should try it really. Because that's just an idea I've just had. So as you can see, I'm coating this in silicon again. Really coating it. You've, you've got to coat it properly. Um, you might find when it's dried, the little bits will fall off, but that's not a problem. You can just see where it is, put a bit more silicon on there and uh, make it stick again just repeat that process so a bit more silicon and these gloves I've actually stayed relatively clean doing this normally I get absolutely covered because uh, when it comes to patience I'm not a doctor and I do not have any so I'm a wham bam thank you ma'am I'm a builder as well so by trade so uh, I'm what you call a first fixer I wouldn't put myself down as a second fixer second fixes is all for, for, for the finish I like to go in there smash things up and build a nice frame or whatever and then they work from that so there you go, another vine. Stick that in the uh, substrate. Proper get it covered. So, there we go. Nice and covered. That's a nice long vine. This one's actually gone a little bit thinner, which is nice. You want them different shapes and sizes, otherwise they just look they look fake, don't they? So, a real simple process. And, uh, you know, I know ExoTerra sell vines with a little wire in so you can move them around and stuff, but, you know, it's an expensive game, reptiles, and especially making enclosures look good. You can spend all sorts of money there we go look at that one that's a cool one so but yeah there that is how you make vines so <coughs> yeah I hope you enjoyed that I hope it's helped some people you probably all know this by now but I thought I'd just help so you just need a little bit of substrate a little bit of burlap and some silicon simple cheers